right, for those people that want to add, um, inflatable seat belts, where if you get in a wreck, the seat belt that goes over across your chest will turn into an airbag on it. I'm in the process of doing that right now. I got this one here. It comes with two parts. So you got this part here. I already got this one here mounted there. So basically that picture is what it shows. So basically that part there is an airbag. So you have to mount that part there, which is this top one here, and this bottom one here, which will take place of that. But the inflatable one is going to be different. It's not just that one connect, one bolt. You got two bolts hole. Then you got a little alignment tab that will align up right there. So you'll need to remove that. And you'll need to remove this bolt right here. So that is a, um, if I can figure that out, a T50. That bolt there is a T50. That's going to be, I believe, a 10 or 13 millimeter. I haven't tried that bolt just yet. All right, so that's going to be a 10 millimeter. That bolt is going to be a T50. Now, if you wanted to add this pre-tensioner or seat belt airbag that I have on it, you'll need the outer one for the driver's side. You'll need a new centered one, and you need the passenger side one. Also, you'll need a new uh, seat buckle, which will look like this. On it. Then you will also need the wiring, you'll have to see if yours is pre-wired. I have double checked and mine is pre-wired for this. The wire is just going to be tucked away on it. So it's going to be more further back behind. You'll have to lift this backrest down, pull up the carpet, and you can see the wire right down there. Now, all right, what I noticed is on this one here, I also got it used, but it didn't have the bolt. This bolt here was already installed into the vehicle from factory. But this bolt here that I had to remove off on the old seat belt, the new, this one here did not come with the bolt. So I had to reuse, take this bolt off the old seat belt. I had to just bend these little prongs outward so I can slide it out on it. Then it will be on this one. So you want this little uh, lock washer, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom of this. Then you want to put the bolt onto it. So I got that one on in place. What I noticed after I got finished that this was tangled up when I pulled it out. So I had to disconnect one of those and twist it so it's not tangled up when you go to buckle it in. So basically now you got it where you can pull up on this one here, buckle it in. So basically that's a pre-tensioner. And this top part's a pre-tensioner also. All right, so I got that installed I just had to take that one bolt off of that one there and I had to take this one here off for the center seat belt so I'll have to replace that in the future when I get it but since this one here did not have a bolt I'll have to just take this one off here take that little ring off of there put the bolt and the ring onto that one there so it stays in place other than that if you buckle it in That's what it looks like. You got the so this part here is the airbag itself on it. All right, so I got that mounted on. Everything's good to go on this one here. Everything's good on this one. I'm waiting for the center seat belt and I'm waiting for the passenger seat belt on it. Only thing I do noticed is um, you will need to get a new panel piece here because apparently I guess on the one with the inflatable seat belt it's cut deeper I'm, I'm assuming with the fit over this on it it looked like if I was just kind of looking at it, you got the one 10 millimeter then you got the torque screw there it almost looks like it would fit but apparently it will not on it at least how yeah, I've tried many ways I can never get the trim panel to fit so I'll be looking for that too so you know going in this video, thanks for watching.